you're getting ready for a full-on campaign for your friends and you really want things to go well. You're a little nervous because there's so much to cover and prepare for. There is one way to make things a little easier on you and them. This week on We Talk D&D. Let's go! Welcome, Griffin family, to We Talk D&D. My name is Ryan, and I am your dungeon mentor through your Dungeons and Dragons journey. If this is your first time, well, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. And if you're one of my subscribers, what's going on, Griffs? Welcome back. Claw fives all the way around. <laughs> all right. So far in this character creation series, we've looked at holding a session zero, some general tips on making great campaign worthy role play type characters and making your characters interesting and memorable via character flaws. I will put a link in the description below to the rest of the series. So you're about to start a campaign with your friends and everyone is talking about how great their character is going to be in this campaign because, well, they've watched this series. <laughs> Eventually, the question's going to come up, hey, how are we going to get our stats? Your answer? Point by, baby! Some of you experienced or long in the two DMs are having a small moment right now, so go ahead, head to the comments section down below and tell me how wrong I am. The D&D purists hate me for suggesting that you not roll for your stats. However, like in life, the weakest reason to do something a certain way is because, well, that's how we've always done it. I'm looking at you managers, boss types, etc. It's a terrible reason. How many of you are using rotary phones right now? The last time you went to a cobbler to have a pair of shoes made was... Right. Y'all supporting your favorite football players in those fancy new leather helmets they're wearing? No? Oh, you mean things change. Ah. Point Buy is a new system in 5e, so anyone who started before 5e generally rolled for their stats in some way, and nostalgia is a thing. It doesn't mean that you can't or shouldn't roll for stats, just that, especially for new players and lesser experienced DMs, I really recommend Point Buy. Okay, here's why Point Buy is the best system, especially for new players and DMs. It's easy and it keeps your game balanced. It's that. <laughs> it's easy because computers and apps like D&D Beyond and multiple websites do all the math for you and give you the numbers at the end. Besides, who's doing math by hand anymore? I know, tell me about all the math you're doing by hand in the comment section below. I'm prepared for it. It's balanced as everyone can make choices that's best for their characters, but yet you can't be overpowered or underpowered. Well, I guess you could be underpowered, but anyway. If you roll, you could get balance. You could be underpowered, and for a campaign, if you're underpowered compared to the rest of the party, you're just not gonna have as much fun. If you're overpowered compared to the rest of the party, only the overpowered person is gonna have any fun, and the DM's constantly scrambling trying to make encounters work for this lopsided party. And it's just that simple. Point by gives you the freedom to make your character choices as you need, it's easy to do, and it's balanced. Ta-da! Point Bio is awesome. If you want to learn more about making your characters, watch the rest of this series linked in just a few minutes at the end of the video, or the link is also in the description. That's it for this week, Griffins. See you next time on We Talk D&D. And as always, DMs, good luck out there.